have started packing <laughs> and our house is a bit of a mess but it's the weekend and we just need to find the place for everything that's in the house and then clean tomorrow which is sunday and then the rest of the week just get rid of extra things that we have i'm spending my time putting some stickers on my suitcase <laughs> It's time to say goodbye to my desk. To another vlog. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. I'm probably gonna get better at editing as we go, as I get better at just filming everything. <laughs> it's hard to pick up the camera when you forget or you just don't feel like it, but I'm getting better at it, I think. Hopefully. Hope you guys are doing well this week. Um, this week for me has been like cleaning. Well, it's just Monday, but I incl I'm including um, Saturday and Sunday in my week. And it's just been like packing and cleaning. I've emptied out this room, so I have the shelf you're on, uh, but that one's gonna stay because the new people moving in bought that shelf from us. This is just a white desk that I'm gonna keep until I leave. Chair, keep until I leave. And other than that, there's nothing in here. And it's really weird, it's really empty, and I'm sure you've noticed as well. <laughs> and if you have seen my vlogs before and my videos before, you know how much stuff used to be in here so it makes it we're, we're like i'm in realizing slowly that this is my last week and like we're leaving on saturday so it's actually just five days left and i can't believe that that's really weird i've been here for three years been in this house for three years and i can't just i can't wrap my head around it um but yeah i thought i was gonna just give me a second <laughs> So I thought that before I let you guys watch the rest of the vlog and me doing more, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, I wanted to uh, address something that I didn't mention in the previous vlog and I should've, but somehow it didn't cross my mind. And that is traveling in the current world situation. Because I know it's a sensitive topic for a lot of people, you shouldn't really be traveling uh, why are you traveling? And they're all very valid responses to my video because I think I just said we're traveling, but that's okay. <laughs> Which is really bad for like the first vlog where people maybe found me and they don't know me from streams where I talk a lot about things like this and like Patreon. So I'm sorry about that. But we have a few rules that makes it different. We, we say traveling, but we're not traveling, if that makes sense. We're doing digital nomading which means that we're moving from location to location. We're not gonna really be tourists. Uh, we'll have about 
at least two months to three months in one location depending on how long you can get a visa which means that we're not going to travel fast we're not going to go to in and out through airports uh, we're not going to go to big bars and restaurants and beaches we're not going to be stupid pretty much uh, we are still worried about everything that's happening and i don't want to risk myself which is why i'm taking every precaution possible to minimize every risk for both me and other people um, I'll be wearing a mask everywhere in public I'll be washing my hands and using sanitizer all the time uh, I'm really worried about the flights that's going to be interesting and kind of scary but I think it'll be fine um, and just social distance I'm not a party person I don't go to people I'm just inside all day the only thing we're doing really is just changing up the location and the only risky bit different from what we do here we go shopping here as well for food so it's kind of the same but the only risky bit is moving location so i know it's not perfect i should probably stay where i am but we're moving back to oslo norway for now we don't have any plans to go anywhere further yet we're just gonna move to norway to Oslo, where i'm from uh, with my family and we're gonna stay put there until we feel safe about moving somewhere else and we would only move to countries where the infection rate is low to non-existent and uh, yeah just be safe we would never go to any countries where it's kind of still an issue we don't want to we don't want to risk that so yeah i know as i said it's not going to be perfect for everyone um i think we'll be fine uh i hope we'll be fine we'll be careful and uh we're doing it will be as safe as possible even though it's not as safe as staying put and i know and i'm hope you're okay with it <laughs> anyway i don't know i keep rambling i don't know how to word things i don't know how to phrase this other than just saying it as it is and be honest uh, we just we we wanted to go and moving back to also is a really good alternative i hope you guys are right with that let's continue Good morning you guys, so today I woke up with really bad wrist pain and I don't think I've had this for a few years at least, so maybe just a year. That's annoying, I think I just overloaded it last time I was doing exercise on Thursday, but I guess I just have been neglecting it during quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. And uh, now it's a bit bad again. But I have some other things I need to do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna record a podcast for my patrons, and I have a list of things. So I'm gonna get going before I need to go go. Yeah, this is annoying. We've been here for three years, right? Um, so that's going to be so interesting to happen. I don't know if that was your question, but I think if it's small commission work, it's fine. But I do have projects and stuff that I need to complete, so... Alright, we're doing a little draw with me session. I kind of have like my hand still hurts but i think drawing is okay so we're just gonna go for it because i need to finish oh this is not right there we go um i need to finish this and i need to finish unicorn i am it's, of course now it's august and it's technically not unicorn anymore and i have a few more well this one and then another one that i'm gonna do tomorrow and then i'm done but I let it run over <laughs> into August because I, I simply did not have the time to uh, to get it done. And uh, I think that's all right. I think multi challenges are fun because they are limited to a month. But if you take a few more extra days or you just like want to finish it properly or just do something different. I don't know. It's it's fine. I don't think it should be so strict. Um, but yeah, I I just wanted to say hi and just chat 
these kind of sessions always let me kind of talk a bit more and not just and not just um, try and keep it short because I can just ramble on for a bit because um, you have something to watch and I feel better about rambling when you have something interesting to watch and not just looking at my face rambling um, so we're here and I just wanted to talk about I don't know more about um, people's feelings about me and my channel and what I'm doing and I know like some people most people it seems were happy for me or like they're excited and everything's good um, but I just I don't know I just wanted to talk about it because it's it is something that people are gonna disagree about and that's just how gonna be how it is and I can't change anyone's mind and I can't argue anyone's points because I know it's not gonna really make a difference I'm just gonna do what I want and need to do and what I feel comfortable with I'm not going out here to hurt anyone and I feel like in that country I'm in, I'm in the UK by the way, and the country I'm going to, my home country, I feel safe. I feel safe enough to do that. And I know some people will say like, oh, but you're still not safe, there's still a risk, there's still a risk for you and other people, and I know that. We're taking every precaution that we can, and I know the last precaution we're not taking is staying home. If we ever feel un unsafe on the road, we're not we're not gonna do it, we're just gonna stop and hunker down again. Anyway, maybe we should stop talking about it. I'm probably supposed to stop talking about it, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I just left on this one. Just need to I'm just doing all the fur patterns. It doesn't really I don't really need to do this but it just adds a little bit extra. It's a burrower by the way. It's a it's a unicorn that likes to dig. Like a rabbit or a hard work or anything that just likes to hide in caves. Dig caves, dig down their food. I think squirrel was on the list too of burrowers. And it's a really weird one. <laughs> it's 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 really not anything like a unicorn, but it's really fun to just make something really, really weird. That people go, that's not a unicorn, and I'm like, no, it's my unicorn. <laughs> Alright, let's put some shadow on him, and then I think I'm done. It's not that much. I knew it was not going to be that much, but it's it's light. I just need to, to finish him so I can go eat, and... End my day. This is kind of the last thing I have to do today. And tomorrow I have to do a stream and I think I'm going to edit this video. That's going to be my main part of my day, really. Oh yeah, I'm going to film the gear stuff, uh, which is going to be fun. Show you guys what, exactly what I'm bringing. The eyes. Snow. And my battery's dead, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for chatting with me. It's time for that part of the vlog I've been looking forward to. I'm gonna share with you guys what I'm bringing with me. I really, really enjoy videos like this. Because I, I just like to see what people find essential and what they want to bring with them when they're trying to travel light or 
just have like a minimalist suitcase like I could have like a really big checked luggage but I'm just going for a carry-on I did actually book my ticket to Oslo for next week <laughs> it's less than a week until I go to Norway and um, they actually have a new rule where you can't bring a carry-on and a backpack uh, so you can only bring a carry-on which means that I'm checking this in uh, and that's fine I think then at least I don't have to carry it right I think I might have like forgot like one or two things maybe three <laughs> I might change things I still feel like I'm overpacking but I don't have any clothes so uh, we'll, we'll see uh, I'll set you up better so that you can actually see what's what we're doing should we do backpack first backpack first backpack first um so just like what i'm wearing because this is this is what i'm gonna wear the whole trip well when i'm traveling is my jacket and i also have a bum bag um and this is just for like i like having my passport my camera just everything here it looks stupid but i just don't care i love it um jeans trainers what else um, I don't know if I'm gonna wear the hat. I might try and squeeze it into the suitcase, but it was outside for now. And um, yeah, and just a, a warm sweater because it takes a bit more space in the suitcase. And then a t-shirt underneath. And I think this is pretty much how I'm gonna travel when I'm traveling. But yeah, this is what I'm bringing. This is quite heavy. <laughs> and uh, it's just everything that I don't wanna put in my luggage just in case. It's everything like the computer, uh, iPad, just anything that I find a little bit more valuable and necessary that I might need. Um, I got this backpack specifically because it opens like that. It has like a, a nice big area where I can see everything that I have. Uh, it still has the tags because I haven't actually used it yet. Okay, you can kind of see. kind of works. So the first thing that came out is my charger. This is just multiple USB. Most of the things that I have can be charged with USB, so I'm just bringing this with me in here. Um, if I'm bringing anything that has liquid, I probably will put it in here. Unless I'm checking the luggage, I probably will put it in the check luggage. Then I have my Bose headphones. I got these from my parents last Christmas. Really, really really sweet of them. I had some that was like, not Bose, but like cheaper things that are really loose and kind of falling apart. I'm actually, I wasn't sure I was gonna like them because they're pretty tight on my head and I don't like that, but they've gotten better. And also they're noise cancelling, so when I'm flying it's actually a dream. <laughs> then I am gonna keep my drone, just my drone, not the controllers, with me at all times just because I don't want to put it in my suitcase. I bought a separate little hard shell case for it. So this is just the little drone and I'm just keeping it with me to be safe that it won't be crushed because I can kind of control that <laughs> a little bit better when it's with me. And what else? A Wacom keyboard. Phil bought this like five years ago but never actually used it. I started using it recently and I love it. It's actually a keyboard that I like. Um, I thought I had to buy like an Apple one which I didn't really want to but this one's amazing. It works perfectly with my iPad. I'll probably show you guys another time but I'm bringing that with me. Then I have still had the tag on. I just bought this a case for my Switch. Uh, the thinnest one I could find, still hard case, so that I can have it with me. I haven't played that much like Switch games for a while, but I'm bringing it anyway. Just in case, I'm sure I might want to play on the plane or something. I don't know. That is the... Like that. Then I have my stand. Um, you guys asked about this last video, and I think I put it in the description. Um, the links to it. And the links in the descriptions are affiliate links, so you are supporting me if you buy anything, just so you know. And um, this one's pretty cheap. I think it's 20 pounds. I guess that's not that cheap. 15 pounds? Something like that. It's actually meant for laptops, but it's really good for drawing and I really like it. And it's actually thin and light, so it fits in my backpack and I can actually bring it with me as well. Which I didn't think that I would, but I'm so happy that I can. Then... 
my iPad. It is the 12.9 inch 2020 version, like the newest one you can get, with an Apple Pencil with a grip that I don't remember what it's called. It used to have a little thing here, but I cut it off so it would fit with my case. My iPad, I love it. It works for everything that I need to do. All my work, I can do with my iPad. <laughs> MacBook, I bought this case because this was it was cheap. <laughs> it barely fits my 15 inch MacBook. It is five years old at this point. 2015, I got it when I went to FCD to, in Singapore to study. Uh, I still have like a bunch of stickers on it and I love it. And I put some little feet on it now because it's starting to overheat because it's getting old. Um, but I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it until I feel like it's getting close to dying. Five years is pretty old for a laptop, I think. Uh, when you start getting over five years, they start to like drag a little bit, but it's actually doing pretty well. I'm streaming from it as well, so I'm actually quite surprised. I think that's the main thing in the main compartment. Oh wait, no, I do have... <laughs> There's actually a lot more room than you think in this thing. A Kindle. A little Kindle. Then I have glove and screen cleaner so that I can draw if I want to when we're traveling. My charging cable for my phone if I need it. I have charging cable for my iPad if I need it. This is USB-C though, so I have to bring a separate charging thing. What is it called? Yeah, this, whatever this is. And then in the front pocket here, this little here, I have <laughs> my Aeropex bone conducting headphones. I bought this to run with, but I don't want to put this in my suitcase. I don't think I'll use it on the plane. Maybe I will. It's just so you can listen without blocking off your ears. I always, when I'm trying to, um, when I'm out running or I'm doing anything where I just, I want to hear my surroundings, I always just wear one earbuds and one ear. And this kind of solves that problem uh, by just like, I can hear both the music in both ears and also what's around me. So I bought them because I know that I would appreciate this more than um, just <laughs> wearing one headphone in one ear. Uh, I have a little bag thing in case I need to carry something extra. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in here, but I have it. And then I have, this one's, go I'm gonna put it in the suitcase. It's the chargers for my batteries. Then I have actually my drone batteries. There's a new rule or law that I've heard about, that might not be right, but it might be right, that you're only allowed to bring four extra batteries for your stuff, carry on. And you're not allowed to leave it in your checked luggage yet. You can only carry four. Um, and then pencil, well, no, ballpoint pen. And I think that's it for just the backpack on my back. And that's quite a lot, actually. I'll show you guys how much it is. Um, I'll just do the bum bag as well real quick, because I'm just gonna keep my camera with me, but you're there, and this little tripod that I have with me, uh, face masks, passport, and hand sanitizer, but I don't have it in there right now because I just kind of put everything together quickly to show you guys. <laughs> that is the bum bag. Just to show you so far, this is what we have in our backpack, so that one. All of this is in there, and now we're gonna move on to the suitcase. So I'm not really having very much space here, as you can probably tell. Uh, it's getting quite cramped, but let's see if we can do it. Let me just unlock this thing. Oh, okay. It's very heavy. <sighs> probably shouldn't be this heavy, but it is. Here we go. This is what I'm bringing. It is, I feel like it's too much. <laughs> But we'll see, since this is the side with most of the clothes. So I have packing cubes, I have two, three packing cubes total. And the first one, this is just my hard drives. Um, I'm putting it in here. Probably shouldn't bring, mm, should I bring this with me on the backpack? I don't know, probably should bring this in the backpack. Anyway, I have that. Then I have a sweater, a small sweater, shorts, shorts, tights and a neck warmer thing. What is it called? 
just to have around your neck. It's like a scarf, but very tiny. And I've always had it for like years. And it's just really nice. And I can also wear it over my ears. And it's just, it's just really nice. I like it a lot. Uh, I'm not really going to show you my clothes because it's not that interesting. I'm just saying, you, telling you exactly what I have. But that's just one sweater. And then I have two sweaters. This one. And my jeans is my pants. And I have another t-shirt underneath here. So this is my second one. This is t-shirts and tops. I also have... I don't know why I'm bringing this because I don't stream games. But I have it. <laughs> this is a... Um, what's it called? Modified dock for Nintendo Switch. If I want to plug it into a TV and play on the TV because I enjoy that most. I don't like playing handheld. I like playing on the TV. So I modified the my original dock to fit into this little thing. You can get them on Amazon. And I just... It's just so light and so much better than the big dock. Uh, I have this one, which is my Norwegian charger thing. So that I have that in case I don't want to use the other one. I have a webcam. I don't know if I need to bring this actually, but I have it. I'm putting it in the packing cubes because there is actually like natural padding. Whenever I buy things to put things in, it adds extra padding and I just can't fit it. <laughs> so I'm just like not doing that. I have one light t-shirt. So I have one, two t-shirts on me. And then I have two more t-shirts. So I have four t-shirts in total. The third, it's just a really loose one that I like. I like that I show these clothes, but not the other ones. And just a pretty kind of low neck one. Just a black low neck, plain, just for, to be pretty. <laughs> um, and the one that I have on is like a graphic tee. So I have two graphic tees, one light, one dark, and then two different sort of tees. And then I have tank top, tank top. I have four tank tops because I like tank tops and they don't take much space so I allow it um, then on this side I have underwear and socks and bras this is also underwear and socks and bras but it's my laundry bus laundry, blah, laundry bag so I have those two um, this one is my exercise bras and just an extra i think i have an extra like strap that you have around the waist like it's called a flip belt or something running belt and i also have a heart rate monitor for running because i enjoy that because i'm weird and somehow like to buy expensive things <laughs> um so yeah that's all in there two i also have a rain jacket packable rain jacket take these out. I have an extra deodorant. I have the plug for my charger for my Mac um, for the Norwegian one. And I have an extra belt, running belt thing. I don't know if I'm gonna need this but I have it. And the belt. Extra belts. Um, and this pouch I have some jewelry. I don't know if I should keep it there but it's there. Two razors. A measuring thing. Don't want to lose. And then on the other side, this one's a bit more cramped. It actually has less clothes. I have a pouch full of cables that I need for charging. I kind of have doubles of everything that I can with that. I have another case full of cables and drone extras. Just normal stuff. My super small pencil case. And I also have my watercolor. So I'm bringing this with me. Um, so I at least have something, like if I want to paint something, I have it. I have my laptop, like MacBook, uh, charger. I don't know, I kind of wanted to put this in the backpack, but I don't really care that much. I think I'll be fine. This is my microphone for streaming and recording things on stream thing, well, computer. I have just an extra one if I need to stream with a lot of USB ports, I got an extra one. I have a toiletry case, which is deodorant, uh, just like everything that I kind of don't need to bring with on me in my backpack but and then like two makeup things I only have like eyeshadow and eyeliner <laughs> and I don't need anything else than that I have a hoodie just in case I feel like I wanted a hoodie like an extra kind of jacket extra to my other jacket <laughs> this is kind of like a luxury thing that I don't think I really need 
but I do want to print books while I'm on the road. And one of the things that I always do like a thousand times before I actually print the books is I check paper and pick paper texture and what I want to use. So I'm bringing Mixum's paper samples that they send to you if you ask for it. And um, this is stupid, but also I do still want to print, so I'm bringing it. Then I have my drone remote controller. It's quite tiny and I thought it doesn't really need that much protection because it's it's pretty sturdy. Um, so I thought I'll just put it in my suitcase just to minimize the space. I do have a case for it, but it's so big it just took up too much space. So I'm just ending up doing this instead. I have my switch charger. I don't know if I can use any other chargers. I'm bringing with me the original one. And I'm also having to bring a thing that I knew that I had which is really nice and then I have two pairs of shoes with me extra to what I am wearing on my feet I'm wearing my running shoes which are flat running shoes so they have like they're called barefoot running shoes but these ones kind of don't look like it they like they look like water shoes but they're super super thin there's like no support and I love it I've actually kind of fallen in love with running with barefoot shoes then I have this is also kind of a luxury item I could probably just do with normal flip-flops, which would take less space. But I bought these last year and I love them. It's my Birkenstock, so I'm bringing them too. Why do I have so many expensive things? I don't know why I fall into these things. My mom had Birkenstocks and they're just, they're just really comfortable. <laughs> I really like them. Uh, then I have another packing cube with some clothing. This is not that big though, so it's fine. Um, this is a jumpsuit that is kind of like an, a nice dress if I ever need it. I could leave this if I needed to, but I like it enough to just bring it with me. I have two bikinis. I have an extra exercise top. Uh, warm socks, because I like having one pair of warm socks. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a sports bikini. And then I have a kind of pretty chill bikini. I don't, I've never done this before. I don't know what I want and what I need yet. So I'm just like bringing whatever I think I want. And then last, I'm having a bringing this sketchbook thing with me. I think this is, I don't think this is a moleskin. This is definitely not a moleskin. I found it on Amazon. I just wanted something that kind of looked like Illo, but wasn't Illo. I haven't tried it yet. It feels okay. I don't know how, how it will do with watercolor. And that's it i think when you lie it down like this it feels like more than i think it is i have a feeling that i'm i am going to downscale with some stuff i just don't know what yet this is everything i am bringing with me I'm trying to get a cool shot let me just do this I wanted to do one of those really cool ones where like you see everything but I don't have, I have too much. <laughs> I can't fit it all in the picture. Um, yep. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing exactly what I'm bringing with me. It's probably gonna change, I have no idea what I'm doing. And um, like even though I'm bringing so little, we're just staying in one place for so long. So I guess maybe it is unnecessary to just go so light like i could probably just pack a big suitcase check it in every time i fly because it's only going to be three four times a year but i'm i'm just i'm liking the idea of having less stuff because i don't think i need as much stuff as i've had um it's going to be sad that i can't like do sculptures and stuff because you need a lot of stuff for that but maybe i can just buy that where i'm going and use it and then hand it off to someone else i don't know there's gonna be a solution to it i'm pretty pretty okay with what i have so far um i know i think this is twice as heavy that i'm kind of allowed for most check it check it, checked in luggage but i'm hoping they won't weigh it um if i have to check it i have to check it but at least it's all packed in a very small suitcase and i think i'm okay with that um but yeah i'll end the video here next week well it's wednesday now and we're going on saturday and i'm flying on tuesday so i'm gonna film us moving out out 
like properly out of the house and driving down to Milton Keynes first. I'm gonna stay there for a few days, gonna solve some stuff before I go to Oslo on Tuesday. I can't believe it's under a week until I'm actually going. Uh, it's kind of crazy, uh, but yeah, it, it's kind of crazy and I'm uh, excited and scared and it's interesting because Norway seems to like do things differently so it's gonna be very weird growing there and then kind of adjusting to their rules and what they're doing there but I'll just learn and adapt I think and be careful and take precautions and measures to be safe and keep others safe and just be a good person generally. <laughs> I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sure it was a long one again and I am just happy to be filming and I like filming stuff like this and I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully next week we'll do some art but probably not. We're probably mostly going to be me moving from one location to another and then the week after that I'm definitely going to do some work because I do really need to do some work and Actually, the week after that. So we next week is going to be traveling, actual travel, arriving in Norway. And then the week after that is actually going to be mostly about me publishing a book in Norway, which none of you guys know. I've talked about it on my Twitch and like Patreon, but you guys don't know. I'm actually, I keep, I keep looking at myself. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm actually publishing The Snowcat Prints in Norway. Uh, in Norwegian because the publishers really liked it and wanted to pick it, pick it up so we're doing some changes and it's going to be published in January but more information about that in that vlog so that's two, vlog from, two vlogs from now and I'm really excited to talk more about it and I'm going to meet everyone that is going to be publishing things and I have a friend that's publishing something now I'm just excited! I'm just excited. I hope you guys liked it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys all for the support and I will see you guys next week. Bye!